The story editor at that time at Paramount was a man called Julian Blaustein, who later became a very famous producer. But he was a story editor, and he hired me for a, a special job, which was an interesting job. He wanted me to go through all of the unproduced properties that Paramount owned. They had bought a lot of stuff over the years, some of which they had never made. So he wanted me to look at that and see if there was something there that was hiding that was really good and that should be made, should be produced. It was a responsible job, but it was very interesting. So I did that, and then I became head of the, of the reading department, and then Julian left Paramount, and I became a story editor. I was looking at it in it for about six or eight months, and um, some of it was, of course, not not very good, and I went through it quickly. But when I came across, and I can't remember exactly, I, I think this Gun for Hire, which became an Alan Ladd picture, I think that was one of the books that I found. Uh, but there were others, and it was an interesting, it was an interesting assignment because I had a lot of responsibility. I mean, they, they trusted me enough so that when I would say, look, I, I like this, and here is something you should look at, they did it with, with some interest. Well, I became head of the reading department, which was a large one because it was a big studio. They made about 40 pictures a year at that time. They don't do that anymore. Um, what were, your, what were your tasks at the reading department? Well, the reading department was, a, I, I wasn't there for, for very long because I moved into the story editor job, but uh, there were a lot of readers and they were assigned covering the business of covering material, going over, estimating whether they liked it or not. And then I would, I would oversee their work and assign them uh, the material that I wanted them to cover and I would be in charge of the way they did it and the results of what they did. As story editor, I had a much more important job. At that time, today I think story departments are much smaller and much less uh, powerful because projects come to studios from the outside and they come very often with scripts already written and directors and people already involved. It wasn't so then. And also what was different was that the creative people had a lot of power. If somebody like Wilder wanted to do something, they let him do it because they trusted him and because he had been successful. And that was generally true of all the studios, the creative people, the writers, producers, and directors had a lot more, it seems to me, a lot more control than they do now, except in the independents like Miramax. Anyway, so it was fun because there were a lot of good people there. 